Hello everyone, my name is John David Phillips. I'm going to be showing you an awesome application called Padlet. What is Padlet? It is an easy to use discussion board that lets your students share information fast and easy. The wall gives you a live look at what is happening in the discussion and, and is an easy way for discussion to happen if you have distant students or if you want a discussion for the entire grade level. So to create a Padlet, you're going to go up here and click this pink button called Make a Padlet. And it pops up eight different templates. Now, these templates are all great, but I use two in particular in my classroom. I use the wall and I use the stream. The wall is what I use when I use Padlet as an exit slip. If I want the information, if it's a short answer or if it's a one or two sentence answer and I just want the information fast on there, I will choose the wall template. I will put it on my projector and it live updates when the students post, which I will show you later. I also use the stream. Now I use the stream when I want to use Padlet as more of an online discussion board. So I'll make an assignment, answer this um, discussion question using five sentences, reply to one of your classmates, and this makes it more like a Facebook stream where the recent one's on top and you scroll through like you scroll through Facebook and it organizes it a little bit better for those kind of discussions, reply to a comment. Whereas the wall is better for one or two um, sentence answers and you want it up there fast. So for today's um, cool tool presentation, I'm gonna click the wall. So you're gonna click that select button and it'll open up a Padlet for you. Now this is where you get to edit uh, your Padlet to make it yours. So right here on title, I'm just gonna name this one test because I'm testing it out. Uh, description, this is where I normally give um, uh, directions for my students. So I'll say, uh, answer the discussion question, reply, sorry, reply to one student. And as you can see, it updates over here what your Padlet's going to look like. Next, you can make it very easy for students to be able to find it with an uh, easy address. For example, I teach at Ashland Elementary School, so I will do AES 6, and that link is not used, so I would be able to use that link, and students would be able to easily find this Padlet. Uh, however, I'm going to keep it the same, because I might want to use AES 6 one day. You can also change the wallpaper. So you can make it a solid color, you can add a texture of patterns, or you can add pictures. Here's a cute one for Valentine's Day coming up, and I think that's the one I'm going to use for this presentation. You can also change this color scheme from the light um, colored boxes to dark colored boxes, um, and you can also change the font of your text. Now, posting is where the big changes are, and this is where you can really make Padlet what you need it for this assignment. Attribution, do you want the student's name to be with the post? If so, click on. Sometimes I do anonymous, especially when we're exchanging opinions since I teach social studies and sometimes people don't want to share their opinions, um, especially when we're talking about some political things. Um, so I keep that off so students uh, won't know who posted what. However, if you're doing this for a discussion grade, you ob obviously need it on so you know what students did it and what students did not. Uh, new post positions, if you want them listed first, you click first. If you want them last, click last. Comments, if you want them to be able to comment on each other's posts, obviously turn that on. Um, I'm gonna keep it, or I'm gonna turn it on, sorry. And then right here, content filtering, if you want to require approval, this will not make it a live look. However, if you want to be able to approve things before they're shown to everyone, you can turn that on. And if you want it to filter um, inappropriate words or uh, emojis, um, you can turn that on as well. Then you'll click this next button up here and you're all set. You can start posting. So when you get to this section, I normally make an example post for my students to be able to see what I expect them to do. So here's an add button at the very bottom uh, right. You'll click it and your post will pop up. Now you get to title it. I'm gonna title it, um, let's say the discussion question is, what is your favorite thing to get for Valentine's Day? I'm gonna title mine chocolate. And then I'm gonna write my favorite, oh, I misspelled favorite 
thing to receive on Valentine's Day, I misspelled receive as well, is chocolate. Once I post that, it is live. If I had this board on um, this link poured up on my projector, that post would pop up instantly. So if you had all your students answering that one question, they would be able to answer that quickly and it would pop up live on your projector board, which I love using in class as some formative assessments or my exit slips as my summative assessments. Um, you can also um, share this Padlet uh, very easily instead of having to copy the link. If you use Google Classroom like my school does, you can click share at the top and then share on Google Classroom. It'll pull you up to your classrooms and you can easily click which um, uh, section you would like to do. And if you want to create an assignment, ask a question, make an announcement, and then you can easily post that on your Google Classroom. If you don't use Google Classroom and you're pu publishing it on maybe a Remind, just click copy link to clipboard and it copies that URL and you'll be able to um, easily be able to share that uh, link with anyone to make sure that they can get on the Padlet. Now, there are two ways that are popular to use Padlet, live comments and online discussions. The wall is updated live, as I've been saying. So students, um, you can pull up the wall and the student's post will pop up on the projector as soon as they uh, submit the post. And you could also use it as a discussion board where students can go in individually and you don't have it on the projector, um, you're just wanting them maybe as part of your lesson to write an online discussion post and then reply to a student. It's still updated live, but um, kind of use it in a different way. And that's what I really love about Padlet is there's not just one way to use it, there's multiple ways. I hope you have enjoyed getting to know a little bit more about Padlet. I use this application a lot in my classroom and if you have any more questions about it, please uh, email me. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.